I'm Shayla, and this is my cousin Paulina, and she's back. I'm very excited. Oh. So don't forget to give a like to this video, and also there's a red with white subscribe button that you can click, and then you'll know when I have new videos. So that's awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. Today we're gonna do challenges. This is the cotton ball challenge. <laughs> she has no idea what's going on. I'm just on, thinking guys. of like the worst case scenarios <laughs> right now. I'll go first so that you know what's up. I'll tie this tie to my head. Okay, you'll see what I'm going to do. I swear this is fun, guys. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> oh. I need another bowl. Why? I just need another bowl. Okay, I'll do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm missing a bowl. I just realized it. I'm doing it all wrong. We're back, guys. Come on. Okay, ready. And go. So that's one, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. right, three, mm -hmm. four. I'm d I feel I'm doing great. Yeah. Five. Five seconds left. Damn! Four, three, okay. two, one, zero. <laughs> Let's see how many I got. So. 19. Or 18? 19. 19. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, girl. This is getting too intense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm messing it up. Ow! Your boyfriend. Hey, girl. The camera died, so I had to like start over. I'm sorry, Paulina. Two, three. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's so hard to tell because they don't weigh anything. You can't touch it. I can't feel them. Oh, I feel all of those. Oh, shoot. I don't even know. I feel so Okay, sweet. so you have five seconds. <laughs> Time! 30. Oh, that does not look like 19. I'll count them then. Let's see. One. 13. Girl, I'm sorry. But I won. It's okay. <laughs> the Gatorade challenge. I just made this up. I haven't seen this anywhere. I'm pretty sure it already exists. It doesn't. Is this it's your favorite flavor? Uh, yeah, it is actually. Okay. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. So one, two, three. Jenna Marvels, and I thought it was super fun. So it's an Urban Dictionary challenge. We'll have Victor. Say hi, Victor. Hi. The first word is roaching. What? Roaching. Roaching? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you, you say it first. Roaching. Looking around for food at a friend's house and stealing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> it has nothing to do with it that. Makes I said roaching when you roar to someone because it's in present progressive ing. <laughs> roar, <laughs> roar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! What is it, Victor? 
A dog that lays on his back with all fours in the air like a dead cockroach is commonly described as roaching. <laughs> so, who was closer? I don't think either of us were. None of us gets a point. Second word is coffee nap. Okay, I have mine. <laughs> you go first because I went first last time. Okay. Oh, you're so nice. Yeah. Okay, so coffee nap. Taking a nap after drinking coffee. Is that right, Victor? Wait, I haven't said mine. Said hers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm I sorry. said when a college student drinks coffee excessively that the body shuts down temporarily. That makes so much sense. Experience. No? No? The first one is better. A nap taken from uh, a, nap, a nap taken after someone has consumed any amount of caffeine, resulting not in sleep, but in uh, a blissful rest that is mildly unconscious. Wow, oh, so I win. I have a point. <laughs> Next word will be a ghost post. <laughs> can, I, can I give hints or no? No, you can't. That's cheating. I, I know you want to help her. There is preference here, guys. <laughs> I think yours are like way too like in depth. Okay, I, I have mine. Do you have yours? You go, you go. Oh, I, I just put the silent majority. <laughs> what? What? The silent majority. Of what? Majority of what? I don't know. I put when someone posts and no one cares. <laughs> That's actually pretty close. Oh, really? Really? A comment, on, a comment on, fa on a Facebook item that has been removed by the author due to being a stupid remark, awkward input, or other. Super, mine makes more sense yeah, you're than like, the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> like, I should just change mine. Did you get a point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's literally trying to find something that Paulina so would know. Hard. Just pick something. Mm. Uh, Non-pology. Non-pology? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Non-pology. When someone refuses to say sorry. Alright. I put sorry, not sorry. An oh, apology like with that. sarcasm behind it. Ooh, that's good. An insincere apology or expression of regret. Often blaming an aggrieved part. That's too long. So, <laughs> that it's an insincere apology. An so, insincere apology. So sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know. Okay. So this one isn't an appropriate, it sounds inappropriate, but it's not. <laughs> I don't like that. Promosexual. You go. Or you. No, you. Uh, bromosexual, a very good friendship between guys in which they act in subtle sexual ways. Okay, so it's kind of like mine. Someone addicted to being with his bros. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are both close. A unique and powerful relationship. Ooh, powerful. Mm -hmm. Amongst bros that words cannot define. So it's pretty close. Both of you are right. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna keep saying that and I don't like it. This is not fair. You're still winning. <laughs> I know. I'll give each other a point. Alright. Peasant vision. What? <laughs> I have mine. It's pretty deep. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so peasant vision. When you can't think as yourself as a dreamer, you know, like you can, I cannot do better. Like this is all I can low do. Low self-esteem. Yeah, like I'm just working. Like you, you can achieve your dreams, and right now, like, because you're stuck there, it doesn't mean that you cannot go further. Right, right. So you have like okay, peasant, peasant vision. vision. You don't oh, think you can be a king. king. Or a queen. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. 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 So for it, I put a person who thinks of themselves so highly that they view others as below them, as their peasants. That makes sense. I feel that's right. No. You guys are both wrong. Really? <laughs> what? What's up? It's way more simple than that. <laughs> I think we're just like. Oh my gosh. You guys are overthinking. Yeah. 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 What is it? Television channels that you can get without cable or satellite. <gasps> I love that. Peasant vision, because you don't pay for anything. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I love them. I, I'm okay if I don't get a point. What can you watch? In a lot. Really? Yeah, <laughs> don't ask me how I know this, but you can watch a lot of things. A Facebook-onality. 
Facebook analogy. Or analogy. Right. I put a different face shown on social media, in this case Facebook, than real life. So a contradicting personality. Ah, I wrote the same thing but in just so piece into words. Sounds so professional. <laughs> Pest and vision Pest words. And vision words. <laughs> Someone who's live on Facebook is the opposite of their real life. Mm. No? Oh. I just, I, when he goes, mm, you know. It's an individual's personality perceived by others by the way he posts comments, emojis, and other Facebook activity. Mm. So it's like, what you guys That's how other but people perceive, perceive you. Okay, yeah. next. What? Curve. Curve. Curve? Curve. 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 Just like that? Yep. I don't, I'm not even sure of what I wrote. I said a curve when someone doesn't know what they want. <laughs> they throw themselves a curve? Yeah, something, I don't know. I put uh, that which smart people mess up for us, the average folks think smart people. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, so but you're enlighten us. Curve is acting in a way in that you're trying to get someone out of your face. So you're curving someone. Oh, that was so simple. Oh. Why are we stressing <laughs> ourselves out? This literally, you just curve them. Like, I'm not gonna overthink anything anymore. Desk staging. <laughs> I hope this time I get it, guys. <laughs> Setting up your desk to study diligently, which you later fell at because it's too aesthetically es aesthetically pleasing. So this just shows <laughs> how different we are and what we have in our mind. <laughs> exact staging. Preparing your desk for an Instagram <laughs> Okay, yeah. Like, Nina Shayla. This is amazing. Victor, I think I've learned so much from you. I'm just showing what I have in my brain right now. Instagram. Instagram pictures. So what you is take it? pictures of your desk. I said preparing your desk for yeah. an Instagram picture. So you take pictures of the desk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Is it that? <laughs> really? The next word is burritoing. Oh, I like this. Burritoing. <laughs> Burger King, Burrito King. Why haven't they opened a place that's called Burrito King? Burrito King. I'm sure there is one. Yeah, somewhere. I'm gonna look it up. I'll go. Burritoing. Grabbing a big blanket, making yourself burrito like. That's mine. But go ahead, finish. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's it? Yeah. So I wrote two definitions, but I don't know which, I'm going to use the blanket one. I sure. wrote... <laughs> what? Wait, when you up. fold yourself in a, on a blanket as a burrito. And then the other one, it doesn't count, but the other one was when you make a damn good burrito. No, the actual definition is covering yourself in layers of blankets. Um, layers? Yeah. Not like in a burrito? That doesn't make sense over dictionary. Wait, yeah, that's true, because a burrito is not multiple tortillas. Yeah, it's, it's not layers. One. I need to calm down. We get a point because we talk about blankets, okay? Okay. <laughs> Next word. Next word is adulting. Adulting? Mm -hmm. I don't like this. It, it's not. It's not. Okay, so adulting. When you realize you're an adult and you have to start doing adult stuff, I put when a child assumes adult like responsibilities. A child? Well, not a child. You're traumatized. Just like, uh, yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> when, like, uh, like, someone under the age of 18 okay. assumes. Yeah, so anything I that does not categorize. Okay, suitable. Victor, enlighten us, please. Alright, what was the word again? Adulting. Adulting. <laughs> Did you? Oh my gosh, no. I'm sorry. Adulting is the act of taking adult responsibilities. You get it. Is he changing it? I don't even know. Oh him. yeah. At this point, I don't trust him anymore. We're in a tie right now. Tie breaker. Victor, the tie breaker. Where is baby beard? Oh, okay. 
You have it? Yes. So, you go. Okay, uh, vomit or drool on a baby that takes the shape of a beard? Too much? Ew. <laughs> Girl. Too much babysitting. Yeah. Beard. yeah. So, baby beard, that one hair that they, the men have, you know, how they only have one oh. hair. And it's just, okay, what, what is it? It was really good. When a man attempts to grow a beard that is so thin and inconsistent, that's why it's called a baby beard. This was a tiebreaker. <laughs> okay, let's Four more years. <laughs> All these years in college. <laughs> That's it for nothing. Gosh, it's okay, girl. It's just the Urban Dictionary Challenge. I have Urban 101. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. And don't forget to give a like to the video and subscribe. It's also, follow me on Twitter because I want to do a um, like a game. But you need to follow me on Twitter because I want to like uh, make post questions there. Thank you so much for Victor for helping us. Thank you, Victor. Yeah, thank you for coming. It's so it's so late, guys. You have no idea how late it is right now, and he just drove in game. So thank you. <laughs> oh wow, it is late. Yeah, it is late. Wow. So thank you, guys. I have and work at 6:30. I'm trying to say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>